Hello and welcome to Spinsus Library. I'm Claudia and today I want to talk about Howard's End by E.M. Forster. This is the first episode in my favourite book advent calendar and I will link the whole playlist in the description box so you can watch the other videos as well if you're watching this from the future. Howard's End is a book that I talk about a lot on this channel and that's because it's a very recent discovery for me. I only read this one for the first time last year when I was spending a week at my parents' house in Germany and I brought this along. Now Ian Forster has long been one of my favourite authors and I've read almost all of his six novels. I'm kind of still holding on to the last one because I don't want to finish his work. I want to still have a new Ian Forster to discover. Um, Howard's End was published in 1910 and it follows two sisters who are some of my favourite ever book characters. They're called Margaret and Helen and they are both very rich, very educated, very bohemian, moving in fashionable literary circles in London. They're very open-minded and politically engaged and they're able to pursue those ambitions due to their immense inherited wealth. However, their lives become intertwined with the Wilcox family. And the Wilcoxes are headed by their father Henry and mother Ruth. And they are also pretty rich, but they made their money in colonial trade. And unlike the two sisters, Helen and Margaret, the Wilcoxes are very keen uh, to come across as conventional as possible. Henry, especially the father, strikes me as someone who always has something to prove to society as a whole. The two sisters also come in contact with a couple called the Basts, who are a young couple in kind of financial difficulties. They're, they don't live very well, they're not well off, um, and the sisters want to help them, but they're not quite sure how. And what follows in Howard's End is, is a story of relationships, of scandals, um, and of the clashing, really, of different philosophies and different worldviews. Howard's End, to me, is like the quintessential uh, E.M. Forster novel, because all of the things that I love about E.M. Forster's writing are just done to perfection in this book through the characters of Helen and Margaret and the Basts and the Wilcoxes, he discusses issues that he's very concerned with in all of his novels, like gender and gender rules, expectations of gender, how all of that interacts with class, the class system in Britain, especially pre-World War I, uh, the effects of, of wealth, of money, on personal freedoms and on personal expectations and intertwined with that a lot of different questions of morality of what is right and what is wrong and how much should that even matter to us. This is a beautiful story and I think of it as one of those slow-moving character studies that I love so much but actually as I was looking at the uh, synopsis of the plot on Wikipedia in preparation which I would not recommend uh, until after you've read it, I realised that actually there is quite a lot of action, uh, quite a lot of things happen, big events in these people's lives, and yet it does feel like a very personal story, like Ian Forster really poured his heart and mind into this book and into the two characters. Helen and Margaret, two beautifully written female characters, and Maybe I am revealing my own prejudices here, but if I didn't know that this book was written by a man, I would have staked quite a lot of money on it being written by a woman instead, because the issue of gender and, and the expectations of being a woman, whether in 1910 or in 2019, are just discussed with such sensibility uh, that it's just it is just amazing and this is a book very close to my heart I can highly recommend that you read it if you have any interest in what I've just said if the story intrigues you or the issues intrigue you or if Ian Forster as an author intrigues you to me Ian Forster is the natural progression 
<laughs> from Jane Austen's fiction and I've said that before I'm not sure if anyone else agrees with me on that but I truly think that a lot of the topics that Jane Austen wrote about with her early 19th century sensibilities are written about by Ian Forster with a early 20th century sensibility and I really love that. So I would say give How It's End a Go if you enjoy stories about sisters, if you enjoy Sense and Sensibility for example or Pride and Prejudice stories centered on sisters, if you enjoy reading about love, friendship and family and about the interactions between the three. Please let me know in the comments if you have read Howard's End, if you've liked it, or if you didn't like it. I would really like to know what maybe doesn't appeal about Howard's End to someone, because this is like it's written for my personal tastes, and I'm sure there are people who read it and just didn't get on with it, and I want to hear from you as well. See you tomorrow, and thank you for watching. Bye!